We finished plants, we finished the human body. What's next in our science? Hi, I'm Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I really appreciate it. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool. I enjoy doing curricula flip throughs, reviews. I throw in a few recipes because I like cooking. So any, if any of that interests you, then please consider hitting subscribe and the bell notification. Today, I wanna to talk all about science and what are we going to do? So we had chosen master books, God's Design Life for our science curriculum for this year. And we did the world of plants and it was awesome. We loved it. We did the human body and we really enjoyed that too. <laughs> and then when I started planning for the world of animals, it just wasn't going to fit with us. Um, too many of the, the materials we had already completed. And so we had a meeting and we decided not to do the world of animals in Masterworks. And I'll go ahead and put that video up here. But then the question is, what are we going to do? And so if you've been around here anytime, you know that if I am freaking out about something, then I kind of just want all the information. So I um, purchased God's Design Heaven and Earth because we are a space family. And so I thought that we would really like this. I purchased chemistry um, because my daughter loves science experiments. So I thought this may be good place to go to and then gather round came out with their inventions and ideas and so i thought oh that would be awesome too and so i was like i can't do all of them at once what are we going to do and so again we had a meeting and we were talking about what would be good what would what would be a good next step after God's design for life, the plants, and the human body. And so I had originally really pushed for heaven and earth. I thought it would be a great one to do. And I thought that this would be something that we would enjoy the weather, universe, and planet earth. And so um, we were talking about this one and my husband said, yes, it would be great but wouldn't it be better to do during the summer when we can really get out and see the stars and look through the telescope and you don't have to worry quite so much about um, the cloud covering. <laughs> and I said, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so we said, well, we will hold up because we do homeschool year round. We're kind of a modified homeschool year round, I guess maybe is what we do, but but we do school during the summer. And so this would be a great one to do during the summer. We can collect water. We can do all of those good things. So um, I was like, okay, well, we won't do heaven and earth. Then. <laughs> so then I said, well, my daughter absolutely loves chemistry. She loves all those science experiments. I've got oodles and oodles of science experiments that we've done. She says that those aren't even real school because they're so much fun. And so I purchased the chemistry and ecology for Master Books. And I started looking through this and I said, this is just too old for her. Now Master Books claims that this is a third through eighth grade curriculum. And at a very extremely general level, I can see that. But um, for what my daughter likes to do and how she likes to um, get into the information and she enjoys uh, those experiments and she enjoys understanding what's going on, I really just didn't think that this was the way to go right now because of uh, the chemistry, because of the chemical equations, because of some of the information that the periodic table, et cetera. So we are not going to do chemistry and ecology. <laughs> and so then we have inventions and ideas, which, which I did a flip through on this and I will link it up here. Um, but I am so excited about this curriculum, but I didn't want it to be just science because there, you know, I mean, if you know, gather around, they really put everything together with, with the exception of math. But in my mind, I wanted it to be science and history and just exploration and enjoying everything and not really pigeonhole it into 
our science. Well, we can't really truly do that because we are loving our American history so much. And so um, we want to just keep on rolling with American history. We didn't want to stop doing that. And we like our language. And so, you know, we, we're not going to stop doing that. And so then I said, well, we need to decide what we're going to do. <laughs> so I did all this research for inventions and I'm still doing research on it. I love this idea for this curriculum. I love this topic. I'm very excited about it. And then my daughter came to me and she's like, you know, I was thinking about it and I really like animals. And so I, I want to study the animals and I'll just redo the, um, the experiments. I'll redo the activities. I'll redo the notebook. And because I, I really do want to study animals some. And so I'm like, okay, I don't want you to redo everything because that's just asking for, for boredom. And so um, I said, well, let's think about this. Let's, so, so my daughter, my husband, and I all got our thinking caps on and tried to figure out how we can make this work. What is the best way to move forward with this. And isn't that one of the beauties of homeschool is that you get to um, piece things together and make them work the best for your family. And so I'm hoping that I'm not biting off more than I can chew on this one. And so first of all, what we are going to do with the animals, which we have kind of already started this, currently in our morning basket, we, whoa, Currently in our morning basket, we have the oceans and the animal DK books, which um, we are loving. And so the way that's working is a couple days a week, whenever she kind of wants to, my daughter opens up a spread and we read about that animal. And so we're going to continue doing that. And then the other thing that she is going to do is she is going to go through the world of animals and see if there are any chat any and see if there are any specific animals in here that she doesn't know as much about as what she wants to. And so then we will use these as like um, Friday activities, maybe if she wants to study these and she really wants to dig into anything within this book, we're going to do that for um, a Friday activity. I'm hoping that between the DK books in our morning basket and the um, master books, <laughs> world of animals, that we will satisfy the, that animal knowledge that she wants. Because when I ask her, you know, is there a specific animal that you're interested in? Is there a specific information that you want to know more about? She really couldn't tell me. It was just more of a general thing. I think what happened is she opened up the master books and she saw amoebas and she really didn't know that much about amoebas. And that was the only one that she didn't have her knowledge of. And so she thought, oh, I want to look that. Um, oh, I want to learn about that. But then when we dug more in, we couldn't come up with another animal. And I didn't think that that was worth it going through the entire unit for that one thing. But again, she's going to look through that. So, so that brings us to inventions and ideas. Now inventions and ideas is set for 20 lessons. So it's approximately a five week course. We are going to stretch that out. I am anticipating it lasting from um, the last week of February through the beginning of May. So we are taking a five week course and making into approximately a 10 week course and then we'll see how it goes from there. What we are going to do is we're really going to pull in additional information on the science behind these inventions. So um, we're not giving up other subjects, which I'm a little concerned about with that because we have not done a gather round full unit before. We only did the Christmas unit. And so I'm hoping that we're not overwhelming ourselves with that, with that plan. Um, I know that there is a lot of reading within the gather round, but I'm hoping that since we are stretching it out so much that it won't be too overwhelming. <laughs> so 
So, and then once we finish with this, it'll be perfect timing for us to go into heaven and earth for um, all of the, the weather, solar system, universe, etc. So that's the plan. <laughs> now, so that's the plan. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not going to eat my words on this one. I'm hoping that it's not going to be all the best laid plans. So if, if you have any experience in doing anything similar to this, I would really appreciate it. Um, please just don't tell me that I've lost my mind. Mm. Now, I will update you. <laughs> how this goes, obviously, because I'm um, getting a little bit out of my comfort zone on this one, but I do think that it has the possibility of really working out very well. Um, if you have any questions, <laughs> if you have any questions about, if you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned, please feel free to drop them down in the comments. I, um, and also, if you have words of encouragement, please feel free to drop those down in the comments too. And I thank you for your time. I hope that this has at least been entertaining. Um, if you have any questions about any of these curricula, obviously I have them. I'm happy to do flip throughs or anything else that you need to know about them. Um, I hope that you have a great day and please let me know how your science is going. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.